But uh, yeah, I am home. Holy cow. Quite a day. Good morning, Internet friends. How are we doing today? And you can tell it's kind of dark. I have my light off. I don't feel like turning it on. There's natural light from the window, but I don't want to open the blinds because insects. <sighs> I don't know if you can see them, but there's the boys being wild as usual. Yeah. And they're sassy girl. Let's say we got up at like 6.30 to go potty, then we came back inside and we slept for a little bit, then woke up again at like, I think it was 7.30, went back outside, got breakfast, and now we're back up here. We're just gonna be chilling for a little bit. What do you hear, Riddler? Is there something going on downstairs? Do you wanna go see? Go see. So, Right now, I'm actually getting yesterday's vlog up on YouTube. Yay! Um, since I was running out of space on my camera, I figured why not go ahead and make get the vlog made. And then in the morning, I could just get it uploaded. Which is great, because it's supposed to take about an hour and 40 minutes for this darn thing to upload. Almost two hours. Which luckily, I've got videos on my watch later list to do and watch and stuff like that. So, yay. And then today's plan, we're going to Chuck E. Cheese. My cousin's kid, Khalil, is turning, is he turning four or is he turning five? Last thing I knew, he was four. So he's probably turning five. And his birthday party will be at Chuck E. Cheese, which I'm actually pretty excited about. I haven't been to Chuck E. Cheese since I was in sixth grade. So I'm just like, yay! Of course, I'm such a kid at heart. The one thing I'm excited about there is the last thing I remembered about it they had this roller coaster simulator like you sit in it and it would move and like blow air at you and stuff and it was so much fun like yeah playing games and getting tickets is cool too but that roller coaster simulator was my favorite so hopefully I can relive my happy 11 year old memories of riding that darn roller coaster thing <laughs> Better than riding a real roller coaster because I won't do that because I am a chicken. So, yeah, now I'm just going to watch YouTube as YouTube does stuff, and I'll check back in with you guys later. So there's my sassy girl. The boys were up here and now they've gone downstairs. So, but uh, yeah, I am home. Holy cow, quite a day. So, of course, went down to Ackworth, which is where the Chuck E. Cheese was. We got there about an hour early, so we looked at REI, which is like a place that sells running stuff and mountain climbing, biking, that kind of stuff. Um. And then mom and I went to Old Navy, and of course I was assigned the task of finding a dressy shirt, which, oh my goodness, as you guys know, me and shopping don't go well together, so of course, anxiety is like, nothing looks good on you, there's so many pretty things that you know you won't wear, you just look really ugly, why can't you just dress like other girls? 
Uh, nothing looks good on you. Oh, you hate floral, which is true. I don't like floral print. So that was unsuccessful, and of course I got super dizzy because I was like gazing like through the stacks, like trying to find something, and I got really dizzy. And then we got to Chuck E. Cheese. Holy crap. That was like overstimulation central. Um, so my second cousin turned five today. Happy birthday, Khalil. Um, and like it was just family. It was not a reserved birthday party, which is great. Because there were four reserved birthday parties there. Now, there's a section just for them, but holy crap, that was a lot of children. And then, of course, you had your games, you had the people working. So there was lots of noise, lots of kids, lots of just visual stimulation. My brain was just kind of in a fog the, the entire time. Um, on the upside, I got to ride the motion theater ride, which is my most favorite ride. So that made me happy. And the pizza was good. And then I just gave my tickets to my cousin because I only had 40. But I was so ready to be home. And then, of course, my head was still reeling whenever we got in the car and went home. And it took about two hours to get home because there was a wreck on the interstate. Lovely. And then finally got home. I changed into pajamas. Yay. And brain's like, you need to do laundry. You have stuff to do. And I'm just like, no. Leave me alone, please. On the upside, I got the vlog uploaded this morning, so yes. Um, and of course, my little boy cuddled me. And then I was trying to get him to do pressure, which is one of his three DPT grounding tasks. He knows three. Paw, head, and pressure. Paw, he puts his paw on me. Each one is basically a different, like, to me, I call it different levels. So paw is the most subtle for just a little bit of grounding. Head is a little bit heavier. And then pressure, he has to put his entire body on me. While I was laying on my side, I was trying to get him to lay on my torso. I think because I've been training him to do pressure across my legs, he didn't quite understand what I was asking him to do. I couldn't get him to do paw either, so I was just like, okay, let's try head. Head is the most recent one he's learned, so I didn't think he'd do it. He put his head right on my legs. Good job, buddy. And that made me very happy. <laughs> At one point, he has a Dwayne The Rock Johnson squeaky toy. So he was doing pressure, he was doing head on my legs while he was playing with his toy. That is some multitasking there. And now I've got a lot of essential oils going in my diffuser. I felt like it would be a good time. It's a big mix of a lot of my anxiety oils like eucalyptus, peace and calming, lavender. I think Valor's in there. Yes, Valor. And then just for funsies, I put lemon. Why? That's like, I just can. Now I'm just catching up on videos, trying to chill for a little bit. And yeah, that is how my day has gone. Hey guys! Debbie Sassy Girl laying on the floor. There be Emeril chewing on a rope that I found under the couch while searching for another one of his toys. And there's Riddler stealing my bed, as he usually does. So, I'm out of the shower. Yay! It, this sounds gross, but I was like debating whether or not I wanted to shower. Be like, no, I don't wanna. But then I'm like, no, Raven, you've gotta do it. Get your butt in there. And I'm like, fine. And then, of course, Emeril likes to hang out with me when I'm in the shower. He doesn't literally hang out in the shower with me. Though he tried to when he was younger. It was kind of funny. He prefers, like depending on when I've taken my shower, if it's during the day, he usually likes to just lay on the floor and like chew on a toy. Um, or if he's tired, he'll just lay there and go to sleep. So, yeah. But I had me an idea. As I usually do whenever I'm in the shower, I come up with some good thinking ideas. And I'm passing this along to you guys because I want to see what you guys think. So, if you, if you don't know, you're about to know. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. It is also Lyme Disease Awareness Month. 
Why do I say that, you ask? Because, a couple of reasons. One, the wonderful Slice of Lime is creating a video compilation of people with chronic Lyme disease and they have to answer questions about their illness and stuff like that and tell their story and it's awesome. And the deadline is already done, but if you want to see it, you need to subscribe to her so that you can see the video whenever it gets published. And then share it to all your social media so that we can all know that chronic Lyme disease is a thing. Because, fun fact, it is. Um, but the reason I bring that up is because I got inspired by her video idea. And... I kind of, I got an idea that I kind of want to pass to you guys and see if any of you are interested and if enough interest is garnered, then it may actually happen. So, as we know, like, oh, sorry Riddler, that was my heel hitting my, ch hitting the chest, see? So, we know that our society knows about mental health and that we need to take care of it, but when it comes to mental illness and mental health there's so much stigma around it, it's freaking ridiculous. Um, and especially where people think that there are certain appearances to mental illness. Like, people who are depressed just cry all day, or people with anxiety just sit and rock back and forth hyperventilating all day, or people who are bipolar just like... Like, with no in-between... Or the, oh, of course, Hollywood's favorite, dissociative identity disorder. You're all evil and going to kill people. Clearly, no. So, the video idea that I have, I want to call it The Faces of Mental Illness. Um, what I'd like to do is compile videos from you guys and other people who have mental illnesses. So that we can show for mental health awareness, you know, we are not the stigma. This is who we are. And we are not what you think we are. Um, I don't have all the details ironed out yet, but I know for sure in the video I just want name, age, what illness or illnesses you have, and then answer two questions about them. What is the worst thing about me your mental illnesses? And what is the best thing? So, for example, if I did this, well, no, I would. Um, I would say, hi, my name is Raven, I am 22 years old, and I have generalized anxiety disorder, major depressive disorder, and panic disorder. The worst thing about my mental illnesses is feeling like you are trapped on the inside. You are screaming for help, but no one can hear you because obviously you're not yelling out in public. Like, you want help but your brain doesn't want you to. The best thing about my mental illnesses is I have been able to make it into a positive thing by being able to inspire other people with my struggles. So that's kind of the idea that I have going. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments below if you would like to make this kind of video. Um, obviously, the deadline wouldn't be till like middle of May. I'm just like, you know, as long as it's in May, whatever. Um, but I just thought that'd be a great idea. And I was inspired from Carissa and her video idea, which, go subscribe to Slice of Lime. They're fantastic. There are two slices of lime. Go to the one that's lime for Lyme disease. Because the other one is lime like the fruit lime. I learned that when I first subscribed to them. Um... And of course, if there's any other Awareness Month things and you guys want to participate in things for them, go for it. I know that for Slice of Lime, they're also doing the Key Lime Pie Challenge, where you take a pie to the face, like Cool Whip, cover in, that's colored in green food coloring, and then hit in the face, because who's going to waste an entire pie on their face? Like a legit pie. But not the point. Um... Again, if you're interested in doing the Faces of Mental Illness video, please let me know in the comments below if you're interested. If I get enough interest from people, I will figure out a way for video submissions. There's one idea I know, and there's another I'm going to try out, and we'll just see what happens. So, 
Let me know if you guys would be interested in doing that. I think it would be pretty freaking awesome to show that, you know, mental illness is not what you think it is. Like, we don't look like what media depicts it as. So, again, just let me know. So now, I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is, are you interested in doing this video? Um, obviously, if you do not want to do the video, you don't have to do it. But if you are interested in seeing it being done, you know, let me know. But again, you do not have to do it if you are not comfortable doing it. That's perfectly fine. So, put your interest down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Riddler. Good night, Sassafrasum. Good night, Emerald, the classiest dog ever.